Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay with the breath as much as you can. Anything else that tempts you to go away, just drop it, drop it. Try to develop the concentration you need to keep the mind settled, still, have a sense of well-being inside. This is called taking a delight in developing and delighting in abandoning. You're trying to develop the concentration, you should delight in the concentration. They should also delight in the fact that you're able to abandon unskillful things in the mind. This set of values is called one of the customs of the noble ones. And it's actually the opposite of most of the customs of the world. Most of the customs of the world encourage you to delight in doing unskillful things, giving in to your greed or your aversion or your delusion, and discourage you from trying to develop something really of solid worth and dignity and honor and goodness inside. So you have to ask yourself, where does your allegiance lie? One easy test is when you have a few spare moments and you say, oh, here's a chance to do, and then what do you do? You say, so here's a chance to meditate a little bit, then you meditate. Okay, that's in line with the customs of the noble ones. If you say, here's a chance to fantasize a little bit about something I want to buy or something I want to waste my time on, that's not in line with the customs of the noble ones. You have to remember that each moment of the day is an important moment because you don't know how many more moments you've got, but you do have this moment, so make sure that it's on the plus side of your ledger. The Buddha talks about having noble treasures. These are qualities of mind that you develop inside. And you should keep, you try to keep a ledger in the course of the day. Look over the course of your day and the week and the month or your lifetime. Are you gaining or are you losing? And today they'll be playing a game and they'll be telling a score, and the score is basically meaningless. But this kind of score inside is something that has a lot of meaning. Because here's your opportunity to be a human being. Are you making the most of it or are you fruiting it away? So make sure everything is on the plus side. More skillful in generosity, more skillful in your virtue, more skillful in your meditation. Okay, that's a day in which you've gained in terms of noble treasures. The days when you find you have a few moments, okay, let's take that time to meditate. Let's take that time to do a little like some, something good in the world. How you use your free time is a real indication of whether things are going in a plus or a minus direction. So try to gauge yourself as you go through the day. What kind of score are you keeping today? Is it a good score or a bad score? And try to move it into the good column, the column where you're gaining in terms of all well, the good qualities inside. That will see you through this lifetime and on into the next one. Because our concern with things outside, as we all know what happens to things outside, you get them and then you lose them. And they're open to danger, but the qualities you develop in the mind, nobody can take them away. Fire can't burn them, water can't wash them away, wind can't blow them away. Those are there and they're solid. But you've got to look after them, that's all. If you don't look after them, it's like you're throwing them away. The water doesn't wash it away, but you wash it away. Fire doesn't burn it, but you burn it all up. That's not the kind of ledger you want to keep in the course of the day. You've got a little extra time here, a little extra time there. Do something good with it. And you find that all those little extra times begin to add up into something of solid substance, something that's really worthwhile. 